going to discuss about trunk port. A trunk port is a port or interface that allows a multiple VLAN traffic to pass through it. Generally, these ports are used to connect between a switch and a switch and a switch and a router. Generally, a trunk port allows a multiple VLAN traffic to pass through it. As it allows multiple VLAN traffic uh, in order to identify the identify the packet uh, it tags using 802.1q or isl tags to identify the frames so let's see uh, with a scenario here we are having two switches and uh, two vlans that's vlan 10 and vlan 20 and uh, this fast ethernet 0 slash 1 to fast ethernet 0 slash 4 or access port in which first two ports that's fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 are configured as an access port and uh, uh, allocated with vlan 10 in which uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 3 and 0 slash 4 are with an access port allocated with vlan 20 and uh, this fast ethernet 0 slash 5 and this fast ethernet 0 slash 5 are going to be configured in a trunk port that uh, that's going to support uh, that going to uh, allow a traffic from vlan 10 and vlan 20 so let's configure first let's configure vlan 10 then we need to pass this vlan 10 in fast ethernet 0 slash 1 0 slash 2 So now this interfaces are going to be changed as access port and now we are going to allocate a particular VLAN to this ports. So fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 0 slash 2 are allocated with VLAN 10. Now I am going to create VLAN 20 and this VLAN 20 is going to be allocated with interface fast ethernet 0 slash 3 and 0 slash 4 0 slash 4 now switch port mode access it's converted into access mode switch port access VLAN 20 sorry VLAN 20 So now this downlink configuration is done. That uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 is a switch port that, su uh, that supports only VLAN 10 traffic and fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 and 0 slash 4 that supports only traffic of VLAN 20. So now we need to configure 0 slash 5 switch port mode trunk switch port mode trunk switch port mode sorry switch port trunk I load VLAN 10 20 so now what I have did is I have made this fast ethernet 0 slash 5 that's connected to the fast ethernet 0 slash 5 of this switch i have uh, made this interface as trunk port and i have uh, allocated or i have passed vlan 10 and vlan 20 in this particular interface that is both the traffic of vlan 10 and vlan 20 will be passed through this port so now let's see Show VLAN brief that is VLAN 10 and VLAN 10 is created and passed in fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and 2 and VLAN 20 is created and passed it uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 4 and 3. Show interface trunk. So this is the command to see the trunk port. So that fast Ethernet 0 slash 5 is created as a, uh, is configured as a trunk port that makes use of 802.1 encapsulation tagging.
much like the same we need to configure this interface as in trunk port so interface fast ethernet 0 slash 5 switch port mode trunk this is the command to make a port as a trunk port then I need to specify what are the VLANs to be allowed in this particular port switch port the trunk allowed VLAN 10 20 so by this it allows both the traffic of VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 through this port so now both the interfaces let's uh, both the first first ethernet 0 slash 5 are configured as a trunk port that allows the traffic of vlan 10 and vlan 20 so before going into into this let's check uh, how access port works that is access port is nothing but it allows only traffic of a particular vlan that's assigned to that so in this switch uh, first two ports that is first ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 is allocated with vlan 10 so this two will be supporting only vlan 10 traffic and this two will be supporting VLAN 20 traffic. If uh, I try to communicate or ping uh, VLAN 20 from this, that is 10.0.0.12 from here, it won't ping because this two, all this down legs, that all, all the four ports are configured as access port and a particular VLAN is assigned to this. So now instead if I ping 10.0.0.4 it will ping because these two ports are assigned with VLAN 10 as this uh, both PCs are belongs to same VLAN it allows the traffic traffic of the same VLANs. So now let's see how this trunk ports works trunk port is nothing but it allows both the traffic if we are pinging from this vlan 10 to this vlan 10 it will work and at the same time if you are trying to uh, ping from this vlan 20 to this vlan 20 it will work because this port these two ports are configured configured in such a way that it can pass the traffic of both vlan 10 and vlan 20 let's see so now i am going to ping from this pc that is 10 0, 0, 4, 2, 10, 0, 0, 2. it will ping 10 0, 0 sorry 4 so sorry. so it works let's see we are getting reply for this ICMP record. So, as like the same, if we ping um, from here, that's VLAN 20 to this VLAN 20, that is now I am going to ping, sorry, now I am going to ping from 10 0 0 11 to 10 0 0, this 10, it will ping it will ping because trunk port allows multiple VLANs to pass through it but access port allows only the specified VLAN to pass through this as we already seen a trunk port is capable of having more than one VLAN setup in an interface so due to that it allows a traffic between uh, traffic of multiple VLANs to pass through the same interface uh, generally it will be connected uh, used to connect between switch to switch or a switch to a router it uses either a 802.1q tag or isl tags to tag the frame so thanks for watching the video for more updates please subscribe the channel